Good day, everybody. Welcome to a brand new episode of the Challenger Series right here. My name is Dan Otaj, and we're going to get right into it. Um, we're going to Woods. We got an STM. I got a Duffel, which is yeah, meh, and a bright red head. Oh my goodness, are we a headshot target to say the least. Um, this should be good. <clears throat> I see the bank robber um, rig, which is not the greatest, but... You know, we'll see how this goes. Um, that's gonna be there. I've got a big old flashlight, though. I think we're out near... Are we near Sawmill? What the heck is that? Oh, we are. I know where we are. Okay. We're gonna go straight up to... Mountain Stash. This is, um... Do scav... So, th wait, does this mean that scavs spawn out here? Because that is interesting. Granted, I think most scavs, by the time you get here, are well within the compound. Or they're up here? I actually don't know. Oh, look at how long that thumb is. Ooh, baby. Ooh, that's hot. Well, look how big that thumb is. It just wraps around the whole thing, man. It's like 10 feet long. Oh, God, that's so gross. <laughs> I know. I, I've been playing this game for a long time, and that's always been like that. But it gets me every time. That's ridiculous. Oh, my God. All right, well. What was that sound? That was a very faint metallic sound. I... Mm. That could be, um, that could be our slapping, slapping the slap. Hopefully sniper scabs up. And not, er, and dead. I'd like him to be dead here. Alright. Let's see. Oh, my allergies are killing me today, I apologize. Um, apologize for the, uh, the stuffiness. The allergies are real bad. Um, it's getting to be that season. Jumping into spring here. Um, I do believe... Tomorrow is... Our spring forward daylight savings time change. Okay, sniper's not up. What's the time, by the way? Eh, it's about normal. Um, okay. Scav bunker is probably where we're going. Yeah, so my voice is probably going to be, for these videos, probably a little bit weird. A little bit nasally. Um, it usually depends on when I record them, but I normally record them when I wake up. As you can tell, the sun is up, so I woke up a little bit late today. Um, I'm usually up before the sun. But the thing is, um, I haven't been sleeping for like three days straight. I, I, I shouldn't say that, because I know people do sometimes not sleep for three days straight. It's been, like, three days of, like, two-hour naps. Maybe twice a day. So, like, four hours total a day. Um, so, it's been it's been nuts. And I've been trying to get the schedule under wraps. Today, I kind of got some sleep, but it took, like, four tries to just fall asleep. So, it's better than normal. I will say that. It's better than normal. But, it is still, uh... Still kind of late, which puts the schedule in a whack. And with this daylight savings time, it's going to be even later. So, hopefully, because I'll be up for a while today. Hopefully, this kind of puts things on track. But it more than likely, if all the if all the math adds up, it won't. So we're gonna see what happens. But the allergies are not a not a good thing. In fact, um, I might take an allergy pill today and see if that knocks me out. We'll see. I'm not going to try to induce sleep, you know what I mean? Although, it might even be, might technically be healthier. Coming back for more. Alright, so. Is there a gun in here? There is. Is it a 74N? Oh, crap, it is. Is it less than half a PS? Okay. So, we're going to switch back to the FTM for now. It's full of T ammo. 
Nothing left in there. There's a wrench. I think the wrench actually is worth... It's worth a little bit. No, maybe not. Oh, this is full, though. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, baby. Show me the money. We take those. We take those. Sure. Got some range on this bad boy now. Honestly, so far, so good. Some apple juice. In fact, I might just... Um, the Tashanka might be worth something. Let's drink this. Take the helix. Helix, th those things aren't worth much right now. So, like, the the hardest part about this challenge is that it's not, like, it's not making money, right? We can make some money, especially because of the population being kind of different now from the beginning of a wipe, per se. But the difference is, one, and the, is, the, I should say the challenge, is uh, is more than just making the money, but it's making the money on top of the fact that the reason we have to run woods is sort of because people have such nailed down routes on PMCs. And PMC fighting is a little bit easier right now considering, again, the population is low. So they're sucking up all the maps, right? Which makes it pretty difficult on on normally where you would go on looted maps. And then um, we have the fact that the flea market's not really going to give us much. Um... I would, I would like to try a mini version of this challenge at the beginning of the next wipe and just see, like, hey, in, you know, 20 raids or so, 25 raids, how much money can we make? Because we'll more than likely be able to make a good, a, a pretty penny. We're going to still deal with a lot of different things. Um, we'll still have to deal with PMCs probably still being alive, but a lot lower kitteds, which means that it'll be a lot more fun to watch, probably. Um... We won't be able to... I want, I want to do it to also where we can't use the flea market because the flea market won't really be up. Like, if we do it in the first, like, seriously couple of days of the of the wipe, it'll be... Pretty much the flea market will be nothing, right? So everything will be vendored. See how much money we can make vendored, vendoring items. I think it could be pretty good. Um, and we could technically try to do that now, but I'd like to be able to do that with more with a more variety of, of maps that are viable. At the end of a wipe, sca scaving into, like, two maps is pretty much what everybody does. Because, well, like I said, the maps that used to be good, um, Lighthouse got changed. It's still, actually, Lighthouse still might be okay, but you still gotta deal with the fact that it's probably still gonna get sucked up. Um, granted, the most of the people that are gonna be sucking it up are probably going to be PMCs going after rogues, because that's very viable now. So, that could be a thing. Um, you can also deal with the fact that, um... Oops. You also have to think about the fact that, that Interchange is a pretty good map at the beginning of a wipe. And it's pretty decent halfway through, but like, especially right now, people are running through Interchange and just, they're, they're vacuuming the entire, entire map, or hoovering the entire map, man. It is, I mean, we went there yesterday, and it was, it was pretty much all sucked up. And it, that's, it, you know, you it's like, Dano, you went there once. How are you going to know if everything's sucked up? It's like, dude, I've been there a bunch of times off camera or on stream it's the same thing and every time we've been here during the series it's the same thing right it's not it's pretty consistently not probably bad there's probably good loot there but going there as a scav you have maybe one section of the map to loot and then either the pmcs are already have already looted it especially the computers or um scavs are already taking it over because it's a very it's a very popular scav map now with that being said that's the reason we keep going woods because we have really no other choice. Really have no other choice. And it is not one that PMCs tend to loot. PMCs pretty much only come here for quests. And they get out. Now, in my opinion, it's a mistake. But, you know, we got to take advantage of that. This may change next wipe. It may not change. I think people genuinely just don't like don't like woods, whether it has loot or not. I don't. I, I really don't think that loot actually affects how much people like woods. I I say that because of like 
my experience seeing pretty much nobody most of the time. And when we do PMC woods, I usually see one or two. And they're most of the time solo. Sometimes they're in a duo. But most of the time, they're just looking for one or two things. And then they want to get out. It's like... It's fine with me. I get to run this over and over again and pretty get some pretty decent loot. You don't have to you don't have to convince me. That's I'm not gonna complain about it. I actually like woods. Because of the fact that because of the fact that that it's for the same reason that everybody kinda hates it, right? Well it's like you, know, you can shoot at somebody and really not be seen. It's like, okay, cool. So if I get shot at, I can also disappear pretty easily and not be seen. That's one thing that I think a lot of people don't really think about dead scabs if they can shoot at you and not be seen if you're smart about it you can do the same and you can also get shot at and then disappear as long as they don't get a lucky headshot on you but what i see and what my observation has shown me based on who i've shot is if i miss them they don't tend to hide they just tend to run and i'm like if you keep running i'm probably gonna have more opportunities to shoot you when if you can at least somewhat get a get a vague direction of where they might be, and then find cover, and slowly kind of disappear, your likelihood of survival is much higher. Many people don't try that or do that, but I think it's a I think it's a much more viable strategy. All right, we're gonna try to hit um. We're gonna try to hit you set camp and come back. Sorry for the sniffling again, everybody. I appreciate it. I also appreciate everybody liking the videos. Um, we've got a consistent, like, small group of people that are dropping the same, roughly the same amount of likes every video. And honestly, that's, that makes me happy. Because even if the viewership isn't super high, even though we're trying something new and stuff like that, I think it's still something that's fun because, and it's cool because it means that a lot of you support me. And, you know, I really wish that I could get, like, could get, like, a, a full-on, Tarkov YouTuber to come in and be like, hey, what can we be doing differently? Because I, I do have YouTuber friends that are helping me, and they're, they're giving me some tips and strategies and stuff and trying to make this series better, but um, they don't play Tarkov, so it, there's a little bit of a an insight that we're missing. And I, I would, if you're, if you're a Tarkov YouTuber, I'd love to chat with you and see what we can do different. If we could do anything. Nothing there. Somebody up here? Yeah, somebody hit this already. But they didn't hit this. Alright, let's go. Propanes are worth a pretty penny, actually. Um, because... They're fuel trade, and fuel is always something people need at the end of a wipe. Plus, um, they're also part of the Red Rebel trade, which I'm sure people are still trying to get. Usually, the problem with that is usually when people want to get the Red Rebel, they usually just buy as much as they need and then just kind of move on. Um, but I think with the fuel trade, these things are going to stay up to about, I would, I would roughly estimate about 60 grand. Which is not bad, it's 120 grand just in our backpack. Um, I might be wrong, but I, I'm going to assume they're pretty high up there. Oh, in denial. With that room, I'm going to move. Sigur, Sigur, Sigur. Yeah, somebody's been through here. Okay. Well, we're fully looted, thankfully. You dropped a smoke grenade there? I think he just left here. Alright. He or she just, just kind of bounced. Alright, let's get out of here then. We're fully looted. I'm happy with it. We'll take it. You know, it's not the greatest, but uh, it works. And I'm about to see how much these propanes are. I'll let you know when we come back. Alright? I will be right back. Alright, we're back. Um, well, I wasn't wrong about the propane. It was still worth good, you know, some decent money. Probably not for a four-slot item, but <clears throat> it was quite literally worth about half as much. About 33k each. I said 60. It's fine. 
It's fine. And we've got a Sightless Mosin, because we got a Sniper version. But we spawned in basically the same exact spot, so... Actually, I think literally the same exact spot. So, let's, uh, let's go. Um, hopefully we get something a little bit better. I think I have a bigger backpack. I think I have the same backpack, actually. Uh, okay. It's fine. It's fine. But... It wouldn't have got us to our to, to our our normal total anyway. We got about three hundred grand, three hundred five, that that run, which you know could have been better, but reliable, and that's what you will say about woods. And I won't stop this. This whole series is just, it's not a challenge series. I'm rebranding the series. It's no longer a challenge series. It's no longer a, hey, how 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 well can I do this task? How how good are we? You know. No, this is a Woods Appreciation series. Gotcha. I sucked you into, what is it, 17, 18 episodes now so far? You've been got. Consider yourself got. This is a Woods Appreciation series. And if you've been watching this far, consider yourselves got. Because I know most of you hate Woods. Pretty much, probably as much as I hate Shoreline. And, well, you're just going to have to suck it. Woods is great. It's not my favorite map. It's not the best map. But it's fine. Oh, it is a bigger backpack. Well, this guy got looted, but it's okay. We're just going to come down this way. Do I have more time? I got roughly the same amount of time. But that took a lot less time to go up. I think. Maybe. I think I had more I had more stamina, so it did technically take less time. Anyway, uh, <laughs> um, we're going to have to go scra scab bridge this time, which is a little bit different. <laughs> Gives us, we gotta we got to pat ourselves with maybe another minute. However, we didn't really run it down to the wire last raid, did we? We didn't really have to. I could have probably gone and tried to check for a couple of spawns across the way. But we, we realized that that was all looted. So most of the rest of the stuff was probably looted too. I will note, I will say that it's probably worth it. If you're new to the game or you're, you're I don't know how, if you're deep into this series and maybe you're just getting used to like scaving and stuff. I think it's a great scav video or scav series. If you're learning how to scav and do stuff like that. Honestly, this is actually... What I'm doing for this series is a great strategy for any new player, really. You know, you may be running rough on your PMCs. You may, may not be able to get many quests. Or maybe, maybe you don't have a whole lot of time at the beginning of a wipe. Or don't have a, lot of, a whole lot of time in general. And you still want to just play some Tarkov and maybe get ready for a different part of the wipe or what have you. Or maybe you just want to see how much money you can get in general before you start getting whatever. Um, this is a great... Strategy. I think if people followed this, they would have a pretty successful, at least start to like their PMC runs. Or if you're like most people, you probably just have a hard time keeping money when you're PMCing anyway. Me, I spend a lot of my money on the on the hideout, which is why I'm a little broke these days. Uh, those aren't bad. Um, but basically, if you run one map over and over and over and over again. In fact, you can even do this on your PMC, although a little bit more dangerous. Um, and, you know, we don't run one map, but we do run pretty much one one map. If you run over and over and over again, you find a good route for, for decent loot. Frankly, the scav timer is short enough to where you can kind of just do that for a whole day. And make a pretty good amount of money. Um, I don't think we care about that, but we'll take it anyway. We've got a big enough backpack to just grab stuff. So, if you just keep running this, you'll probably come up with some decent amount of money. I think it's pretty okay. Wilstons are a trade for something. I forget what they're a trade for, but... I don't think we need them. We'll take Marlboros, though. I don't think Lucky Strikes are getting any good. Um, we got... It was a perfect, li perfectly slotted for a weapon right there, and we got a bunch of cigarettes. Um, although, I think it was a supply crate, so it probably wasn't going to be a weapon anyway. Uh, so, okay. You're running low. 
you're not doing well, you're having trouble, and you're like, hey, how do I get out of this? Tell your friends to come watch this series. And this is not like an advertising campaign, although I could use a little bit more advertising. Come watch this series. Have them run my route. Um, preferably not while I'm doing it, but have them run my route. And they'll probably be able to at least each scav raid fund an entire run. And that's not a joke. Like, if I'm making... On average, if we average it out, it's probably like about 500. It's it's pretty close. Um, well, actually, it's not average 500. We'd be at our goal. But every about if you if we average every live survived raid, it's probably about 500. But nonetheless, average out every raid. Let's call it 350, 400. Um, you you definitely be able to. To load yourself out in an entire, entirely decently kitted setup. You know, and and by the way, if you get more time, you can loot those. Those are pretty good. It's just, it's just um, <clears throat> we don't have time because every time we load into a freaking raid now, our timer is lower and lower and lower. I'm genuinely curious though. I wonder if there's a grace period. Like, let's say... If a... If a PMC... If the last PMC has... Extracted from a map. I wonder if they do think about... If BSG thinks about scabs in the sense of... I'm giving you... Five minutes... To load into the map. And if nobody loads in... If nobody scabs into that map... Then we'll just kill it. But if not, we'll keep it up. We'll keep it up, and uh, you guys can try to load in and try to scab in with no PMCs there. I don't know. I don't know if there's any way to really tell that. Um, because, one, getting into a, the same raid is a lot of... Like, stream sniping in this game is not impossible, but it's not very easy. So testing that out is difficult. You can do it, but it's difficult. And then, on top of that, you have to then figure out if there's anybody else on the map still very hard um because what i've noticed is this is the times you spawn are normally when scav waves do spawn it sounds like i'm starting to trying to say raves and i have a little bit of a impediment but i'm saying waves scav waves do spawn that can mean so many different things that can mean there's pmcs on the map which is apparently supposed to be the rule that can mean that pmcs just left i don't know just theorizing. Just thinking about it. Some game theory. Got a diaper helmet in my backpack. I thought that was a thing. It's just a painted blade of grass. I wonder if it if it'd be worth it at all to like peep into the sawmill. The GP coin. I got excited for a second. GP coin isn't terrible, but. That could have been a Bitcoin, uh, Bitcoin, uh, which are worth a lot of money. They're going up right now. And uh, I was listening to a couple people talk about it. Because, so, for those who don't know, is Bitcoin has had some ups and downs and roller coasters over the last few years. In the last, like, several wipes. Because some people like the fact that, um, uh, let's do this. Some people like the fact that Bitcoin has fluctuated with the price of Bitcoin, IRL. Some people have not liked it at all. But, there's also the possibility that the connection to Bitcoin and their price in the game is on the value of rubles. And how the, the value of rubles goes up and down, IRL. And the fact that the price is, or the, the value of ruble right now, for obvious reasons, is going down tremendously, that the price of Bitcoin would naturally go up now the problem i have with this this idea is not everything is exploding as much as that is granted granted that just might be a math error not a math error but a math type a mathing type thing with based on well if it's worth this many rubles if bitcoin are worth this many rubles that doesn't mean that it has gone up everywhere globally just for you know just in russia basically um so that is possible. 
and that's that's part of that's probably part of the reason actually people don't like the fact that it is fluctuating with IRL stuff because that means that Hey man, you good? Looks to me like a very heavy PMC. Homie whispering in my ear, man. Oh. No, it's not a PMC. Oh. His jacket. I didn't recognize his jacket. It looked like a PMC. It looked like a pilgrim, but... And I should, I, it didn't quite see the purple, but it should trigger in my mind that it was a possible scav. Thing is, I was trying to, uh, trying to see if he would, uh, respond to me. There's a horsey. Another horsey. Dang it, dude. Lots of scabs, though. Not a whole lot of time. Ooh, a loot lord. Um, metal parts aren't worth much. But we'll take it over the chain lit. Alright. Four minutes. Um, we should go check... Ah, uh, we don't have a whole lot of time. Alright, screw it. I'm just going. We're full anyway. If you couldn't tell, that last that one raid's got me shook. That is a thick scav though. You can you can't blame me for being shook by and trying to ambush this guy. That is a thick scav. My god. Boy, you be working out. That dumpy thick. Actually, are these worth anything? Come on, come on. Probably worth more than light bulb. PRS. Um. No. 
What is that, a 1911 trigger? Sprats, I don't think are worth much. I didn't realize Sprats was a uh, streamer item for such a long time. The and, and people might be asking, is it worth just killing that scav and taking at least his backpack? Maybe. Maybe, but I would say it's uh, more worth for us to just try to get out. And uh, the fact that I don't have a front sight means it's possible that second or third scavs will take me out. And I don't want to lose my rep. We're not quite at 4.0, but we're decently close, and losing more than that would be... Getting us further and further away would be a, a pretty bad look. But man, as much as something didn't happen, it was still exciting. So, I'm going to count all this up. We're going to get it totaled, and I want to say thank you so much for watching today. If you enjoyed our little, you know, 30-minute, 30 35-minute... 30, episodes over here now now and then and we get to hang out and chat once a morning then i'm happy and i'm happy you are able to do that with me um and make sure that if you aren't please subscribe there's about it's honestly a vast number of people who watch these videos that are not subscribed so please join the crew join the cave come hang out with us and uh, i will see you all next time goodbye